Now, our next, or our first guest of the day, actually, is a man that believes in the motto that believe to see instead of seeing to believe, which is actually kind of a different way of, of, uh, of thinking about things. And his motto, or his philosophy, is to go out there in the world and convince everyone about the power of the mind and helping you shape your reality around you. And could you think, if you could do that, if your mind could shape your reality, you could live quite an extraordinary life. And he's here, the international man of mentalism. Great to have him back in our studios. Mr. Larry Soffer, how are you? Good and you? Always feel the surge of awesomeness when I <laughs> shake your hand. Are you well, man? That's cool, man. Yeah, I'm good and you? It's, I'm very, very well. It's, it's been a while since we've had you here, and you've been very busy since then, working all all around uh, doing what you do. Be, you know, before we, we get too much into it, for those that don't know who Larry Soffer is, what exactly does Larry Soffer do and who is he? Well, I do mentalism, which is magic of the mind. So I read minds, predict the future, bend metal, that kind of thing. Um, it's everything that's got to do with your own mental abilities if you believe in them. I do not say that what I do is real. I do not say it's not real either. Really what's important is what you believe. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So it's, is it magic? Because you said magic of the mind. Yeah. So it is a kind of magic. Uh, it's a kind of magic. <laughs> it's a kind of magic. But do people ever ask him, is, is it linked with any kind of good or evil? Because that's, that's usually the question that usually that comes up. Well, yeah, people do ask that. And uh, you can see that none of uh, what you see in front of you is evil in any way at all. He's a good guy. He's, you know, he's chilled. <laughs> he's chilled like that, yeah. What, yeah. Where, where's your, your work taking you? Because you have been very busy since you were last year. All over the world. In fact, we were in Kenya. And in Kenya, they believe in juju, which is witchcraft. So is that not Julius? That's Julius. Oh, they don't believe oh, in juju, yes? In yeah? juju, which is witchcraft. Another <laughs> word for, uh, like, uh, I don't know what you would call the Sangoma kind of magic, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm tagad, um, tagad. Yes, yeah, yeah. something like that. So, so they actually believe that, uh, that, that magic is witchcraft or, or juju, as they call it. Uh -huh. And what I explained to them is that, you know, if you do something bad, how do you feel? How do you, then you feel bad. You feel if bad. If you've done something bad, yes. And when you feel bad, do you have less power or more power? Well, feeling bad usually kind of drains you of all energy, so you have less power. Exactly. So every time you're doing something bad, you're actually taking power away from yourself. And my purpose is not to take power away from myself or anybody else, but to actually give power to people. So one would have to do good things to do that. So hopefully that answers the question. Okay. All right. How did you start doing what you do? Ever since I was a kid, I uh, believed that I had healing abilities since I was four or five years old. Mm -hmm. So I could touch people and put my hands over them and take away their ailments. And um, I just believed that I had that ability and then I could heal my friends and my family. As I uh, got older, I went to the College of Magic for about four years, mm -hmm. where I learned a lot of sleight of hand, illusion, that kind of thing. So I, I go into a little bit of that too. Uh, when I got out of school, I decided to go more into the mental or spiritual side of magic because that actually inspires people to believe in themselves so they can create their dreams and become the master of their own destiny. And that's my purpose, is to inspire people to do that. Well, if you're creating a positive change, then I'm all for it. So uh, you're going to show us something amazing, right? Yeah, should and we? And you asked me to bring a coin. Should we stand up? Yeah, we can okay. stand for this. Uh, we brought a coin. This is uh, on loan from Ewan. He has asked for it back. Yes. And uh, okay. I, I intend on bringing it back to him. Awesome. And you can put your initials on both sides of the coin? Initials on both sides of the coin. Here it is, okay. Why both sides? <laughs> um, well, I want you to mark the coin so you know that uh, there's no way that I could be swapping it. Okay. Mark it in a very irregular way. Yes. So the Springbok now has my initials on them, and the coat of arms now has my initials on it. There you go. Awesome. Okay. There we go, there you have it there. So it is 2009 km and then the lekker oud Springbok Azo and I work a lekker KM op zijn rug. Also, here's your I, I believe this is a special one, hey. Or is it just a regular <laughs> no, okay. no, it's just a normal permanent marker. So so what's the uh, what's the M for? What's the M? Oh my surname, my boy. My boy. My boy. My boy. You've got to give it my boy. My boy. Lovely. Yes. Okay, I like it, I like cool. it. Awesome. <laughs> Here we go, watch. Can you see that? Did you just like totally bend that? Can you see it bending? <laughs> Check this out. You see it's it bending for Bending! And you can touch it. Really? Are those wow. Your those are my initials in a newly bent. One rand coin. You wouldn't be able to spin it now because it would probably fall over its side. And there's no way it's you can bend it back, right? Uh, you well, have to run that. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to try. I'm <laughs> going to try and bend it back. You know. <laughs> oh no! Hold on. No, give me a second. It's getting there. Ah! No. Ow. No. Okay. It's not bending. 
How did you do that? Whatever you believe in, you can create absolutely anything. See, true belief is certainty. So when you're absolutely certain about something, that's the minimum which you created. Like you know you can walk, so you can walk. If you didn't know that you could walk, would you be able to? Wow, what a question. What a question you do. All right, so we're looking forward to seeing more amazing stuff from you throughout the show today. And if you want to be part of the world of mentalism taking place here on Expresso, we invite you later on to bring your broken clocks and cutlery closer to your screens. This man is about to show you something very, very amazing. We'll see you after the break. Wow.